Hello, happy people. Welcome back. Hope everybody's doing good out there in social media land. I have an interesting topic, and the topic that was served to me today was how to find peace, how to maintain peace. Both. How to find and maintain your peace. When that topic came up to me, the first thing that came to my mind was seek peace and pursue it. That's a scripture in the Bible. It says, seek peace and pursue it. And then another thing that came to my mind was, he said, I will keep your mind in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. Let me just suggest this. When you're searching for peace and looking for peace, you're really essentially looking for God. That's the best way I could sum that up. You know, because you're trying to muster up your piece of, you know, your understanding, your piece of, you know, uh, what looks like peace to you. And subsequently, every time you look it up, here's come trouble. But there is a peace that will sustain. There's a peace that really will abide when you find Christ in your life. What do I mean by that? Knowing that he's a for sure foundation. He's a for sure rock that he's able to sustain you when you know what the word says about your peace. How do I deal with peace? I deal with peace with not letting anything come into in my world or in my bubble to disturb it. And all things, there's a lot of things that come to try to plug it. You know, whether it's my wife, whether it's my kids, whether it's my job, all things try to come to disturb it. But when I make that mind up that, um, you know, uh, he will keep my mind in perfect peace, whose mind stayed on him, I oftentimes just keep him in remembrance that Christ is my Lord. That he died for me to have a place of peace in my heart. And so do it oftentimes. I've learned, you, you're learning how to master this. You're never going to master it, but you're learning how to, to master it. Does that make sense? No, that doesn't make sense. But let me tell you why it doesn't make sense. Because how can I learn how to master it and never master it? It's a practice. It's what, you know, um, people say, you know, like a doctor, a doctor says, I'm a doctor, that I have a doctor in this, but he's still practice, practicing. You know, it's like me having a master in what I do, but I'm still learning how to masterize the mastering. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Kind of, sort of? Do I need to dig a little deeper? So when it comes down to mastering your piece, you are not so much doing it yourself you're looking for the master of peace does that make sense okay because i had some people out there that was just looking at me like saying uh-uh i'm trying to figure this out so you're looking for the master of peace listen the person that can actually infiltrate your mind into bringing peace and tranquility into your life because you can't do it on your own you try remember it doesn't work but what I can tell you what does work is when you find the master, the rock of your salvation and find out what he is saying about it. Find out what it looks like in his eyes and resting on that piece. I have, you know, a person that died and very, very precious to me who I love uh, with all my heart, mind, body, and soul. What brought me rest and peace to that situation is because I seen a tear out of my eye drop on her eyes. And it was almost like she was crying while I was crying. And what God said to me in that moment was, I can bring her back. But look what she would be coming back to. And I looked around and I seen all the chaos and all the craziness. And so the peace that came over me was the peace that I found her resting in at that moment. She was with, she was with her, our Heavenly Father. And so I realized that peace cannot be bought. I probably would get a strong butt whooping if I tried to conjure up and bring her back here because like who would want to forsake me with the Father than to come back to a world that's corrupted and full of trouble. I maintain it by staying connected to the one that has mastered peace. 
you know, um, and, and, and really looking for guidance on how I can maneuver my way through life circumstances, seeing what he is saying about it. And sometimes the word would sh share that thing to us, like what David, you know, did in Psalm 23, uh, verse one through six. Uh, and this was a song that David said, he said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, you know, you might be in want, but guess what? You don't have to. Um, you know, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Well, you know, listen, it may not look green right now, but if, you know, you cross that fence, you find out that that pasture that you were in is a lot more green than the fence that you're crossing. There's a lot of different ways that you can maintain and get peace and hold on to it, you know, and get a real good grip on him. And that's just knowing that he's your rock. He's your rock. He's your rock. He is your rock. And so when I stand on a sure foundation of him being the rock, I can rest assured that he has every situation, every circumstance worked out. Yes, it takes faith to learn how to practice that and continue to believe it. But when you see that a person that has never lost a battle, it seems quite odd that we just don't succumb to it, which tells me that you have to die to your flesh and let your spirit start ministering more to you about who God is because he's had a personal conversation with God the Father about who you are and what you are to be. So peace takes dying. It takes dying to yourself and to your flesh and learn how to say, Lord, the peace of God that surpasses all my understanding shall guide my heart and my mind. It shall guide it. It shall guide it. It'll tell me, no, go left. And I wanted to go right. It'll tell me no, keep straight when I wanted to say no, let's make a U turn. It'll tell me to stay home when I wanted to go. It'll guard your heart and your mind. Rest on that, rest assured of that, and I promise you, you will find peace. I'm Jay. Hope this blessed you. We're doing it in purpose, on purpose, with all power. Until we meet again, leave your comments in the bottom. Share with me what your peace looks like. Share with me on how you're discovering peace. Share with me your thoughts about peace, okay? I want to hear from you, okay? Talk to you soon. No.